always be war. Unless we change it. There will always be starvation. Unless we change it. There will always be violence. Unless we change it. There will always be HIV. Unless we change it. Nineteen eighty one marks the beginning of the HIV and AIDS epidemic in the United States. Nineteen eighty two, the Centers for Disease Control formally establishes the term acquired immune deficiency syndrome or AIDS. 1985, Ryan White, an Indiana teenager with AIDS, is barred from school. 1987, the first AIDS drug, AZT, is approved by the FDA. In 1988, World AIDS Day is first declared by the World Health Organization on December 1st. In 1991, NBA legend Irvin Magic Johnson announces that he is HIV positive and he retires from basketball. In 1996, highly effective treatment advances the fight against AIDS, creating a new period of optimism. In 1997, AIDS-related deaths in the United States decline by more than 40% compared to the prior year largely due to advances in treatment. In 2012, the FDA approves PrEP, the first medication to decrease the risk of acquiring HIV in high-risk individuals. Secretary of State Hillary Rodham Clinton says it's possible to virtually eliminate HIV-infected births, and the United States donates $80 million to help poor countries reach that goal. At Sexual Health, every day starts with a commitment to provide cutting-edge STD testing and care. I wanted to be a doctor for as long as I can remember. As a child, it was always my plan. I never dreamed about working at a business or helping to build a company that might change the way healthcare is delivered. And yet here I am. I love working at sexualhealth.com. It's a stimulating work environment where each person's contributions matter. Our CEO says, we're not making t-shirts here, and we all get that. We care deeply about delivering the best customer experience and treating each person who tests with us the way we'd want our mothers to be treated. I love being part of an organization that puts the patients first while at the same time innovating and utilizing the latest technology. Change is good, and we are changing the way people get tested for HIV. We aren't a standard medical practice. We aren't a standard corporation. We are sexual health, an amazing team of people working together to provide the world with a completely new way to think about healthcare. <laughs>